Guys, welcome back to the Tech Super Channel. Today in this video, we are going to look at how to pull and push images to Docker Hub. So it's a very short video wherein you will you will learn how to pull the images from Docker Hub. Any image which you want to pull, you can pull it. And if you want to push your custom images to the Docker Hub, how to push them. So in this short video, I'm going to help you with that pull and push command of image. So guys, before we start, I will ask everyone to subscribe to my channel to get regular updates. So one more useful information, if you are willing to learn Oracle Visual Builder. So this is the book and the title of this book, Effortless App Development with Oracle Visual Builder. So I have authored this book myself and the publisher of this book is back. If you are willing to learn Oracle Visual Builder, that is the great book. I have written each and every concept, not only the wizard base. So every concept is covered from beginning to the end. So if you are willing to buy, you can simply go to this link, https colon slash slash dot live slash tmwsnr7. This link will take you to the Amazon website from where you can buy that. Okay, so now let's get started and let's come to our main agenda. So what are the command to pull and push images? So if you want to pull image, so this is the command like docker space image space pull and then you need to put the image name which you are willing to pull and then colon tag. If you will not give the tag name, so by default the image will be pulled from the docker hub with the tag latest. So if you are willing, if you want to pull a image of a specific tag, then you can put colon and then tag. Now, push command is similar to the pull one, but instead of pull, you need to mention push, docker, image, push, and then image name and then colon and tag. But to push your docker image, push your images, you must have the Docker Hub account and then you have to log in first before you push it. Okay, now I'm going to take you to the Docker Hub first of all and we'll show you a couple of things so that you can understand how it works. Okay, so this is hub.docker.com and if you see here, we have the search box and which is the open registry. Okay, anyone can pull a lot of images without even login. Okay, so let's suppose you have a NGINX. Okay, so let's suppose you want to pull the nginx image nginx is nothing it's just like a server so nginx let's suppose you want to pull the nginx so you can simply search nginx and this is the command like docker pull nginx or you can just simply put docker image pull nginx too right and here all this nginx image there are a lot of tags tags is nothing it's just like a version you can say and you see, we have the latest version as well. So each and every image, image will have at least the latest version for sure, right? So this is the latest version and we do have other versions as well. Now, if we, you want to pull like MySQL image, okay? Similarly, you can simply go ahead and then search MySQL. And here you see official image. Similarly, we have the verified publisher too. If you click on this MySQL again, it will show you that command docker space pull space image. And if you again go down, you can see different, different tags like latest 8, 8.0, 8.0.06. Fine. Right. Now, in order to pull, you don't need to log in. Now, let me just take you to the command line wherein I will show you how to pull the images. Okay. So, this is the my command line and uh, make sure you have the docker installed uh, already. So, let's see. Yes, I already have the Docker, right. So now let me first show you how many images we do have. So to look at how many images you have on your Docker, uh, uh, Docker machine. So you can simply put Docker space image space LS. So it will give you the listing of all the images. And here you see, we don't have any images of now. So now let's simply use the command Docker space image space Pull. Pull is used to pull the image from Docker Hub. Now, what image you want to put? Pull, you have to give the name. So let's suppose you want to pull NGINX and simply say enter. 
as soon as you will enter, you will see like using default tag. So as I mentioned during my presentation, like when you simply put pull command, it will take the latest tag by default if you don't give. And here you see trying to pull from where docker.io. By default, it will pull the image from docker.io docker registry and then library is the account and then nginx image. And here you see latest pulling from docker.io library and nginx. So since you know that image is just a multi multi layer architecture and here you see it is pulling all the all the layers one by one and then we have one image and this is a digest value. So each and every image will have its own unique digest value too. So all the layers will be downloaded. Now, if you again run this command docker image ls, then you can see the image name nginx, what was the tag, latest one, image ID, and it was created six days ago and then size is total 133 MB. So very simple command to pull the image. Right. Now, if you will try to hit the same command again, what will happen? The, this command will search this nginx image with the latest tag in your local repository means local docker host machine if it is there then it will not go to the docker hub and it will not pull it again and here you see how quickly it is trying to pull repository latest pulling from docker so again it is going to the docker docker.io i'm sorry it is again go, go, going to the docker.io and matching if there's any update let's suppose you have downloaded this latest image one week ago and today you also want to pull that image if there is any change in any one of the layer the layer which is updated will be pulled only means here you see we have a one two three four five six so we do have total six image of the nginx and if any one of the image will get changed so it this will download the particular image and we collect everything and it will give you one particular image with this image. right and here you see status image is up to date for nginx latest right so this is how you pull the image now let's suppose you want to pull the image with the tag let me just check check, check what is the tag we do have on on the docker hub of a different tab of nginx and let me just check that out so we have 1.21 so 1.21 we have let's suppose nginx nginx and 1.21 okay so this is the tag now enter now here you will see pulling from docker.io digest downloaded newer image for nginx and how quickly it was might be it it is using the same layer so again but if i do docker image ls it will give you it will show you two images nginx 1.21 let me try to show you another one. Let's say stable. So there's a one more tag called stable. And here you see stable. The stable tag will have a different, uh, uh, different uh, image ID. It, different layers, not image ID. Different layers. Hence, it will download all these layers. It's not X. But here you see might be some base image is the same a330 b67 already exists so it will not be downloaded if again i go above hand here you see a330 okay and here also a330 so this layer already exists hence it will not be downloaded again but all the different layers will be downloaded so this is how you can download any image so since here you see these two images nginx and nginx stable sharing two images so two two uh, means a single layer is is shared by two different tags so it will have only one and it will be referenced by both of them and that is the feature of uh, images that it will save the space because they the images share the layers so this is how you do this <clears throat> now if you want, let's suppose you have created your custom image somehow, okay? And now you want to push into the Docker Hub. So to push into the Docker Hub, you must have the account. So I already have the account. Let me show you how to log in into the Docker Hub account. Uh, allow me a minute. Okay. 
Okay, so now if you see here, let me just sign in. Okay, and if I click on a sign in, I already have a Docker ID, which is something which is like a taxable, and then I have the password like welcome at one two three. So this is my Docker Hub account. You can simply create it. It's right, and if you go to this Docker Hub, I have a repository with the same. Name tax upper. So the repository will be created, and here you see I have uploaded one nginx image with a tag like to be one earlier. Okay. Now let me just go back to this terminal window. Okay. Right now here now if you want to push your image how it should be. So if I do Docker image ls. Okay. So I do have. nginx one dot two one. So let me just try to push. So the command is Docker image push and nginx colon one dot two one. So you will see what will be the behavior. So first of all, it is saying you cannot push a root repository. Please rename your repository to Docker dot io slash user slash repo. Means the user. That will be the slash user means tax server as a repository and then repo like docker dot io slash tax server. So it is taking tax server because I have already logged in into this. But no worries. And slash nginx. So what I need to do? I need to create a different tag of this image. So tag. So let, let's docker a uh, docker image and tag. So tag is the command to give a tag to an image. So let's say nginx one dot two one. So One dot two one. If I will not give to one dot two one, it will take latest one by default. And now let's say tag support. And let's say I will say new. Right. And now if you do Docker image ls, it will give you very very my bad. So you need to do like this tag support and join next something like. Now here you see tag super nginx and here you see u slash user slash repo means tag super and nginx the repo will be created automatically when I will push it. So nginx repo already exists, but that's fine. If I give let's suppose nginx one for example this one, okay. Let's say this one, okay. Ls and here you see tag super slash nginx new. Let me just try to push that one. Now in order to push it, first of all you need to log in. Into your Docker, our Docker Hub account using that CLI. So this is the command Docker login. If you enter it, it will ask you the user ID. So I already logged in and give me the suggestion. Let me just enter tax number. So this is my Docker ID and then password. And if I am logged in successfully, it will say login succeeded. And let me see. Let me try to run this command. Docker image push, and then I will say tag super nginx one, nginx one, and then tag is new. Docker image push tag super slash nginx one dot colon new. Enter. And here you see the push refers to repository docker dot io. By default, it will push to docker dot io. Then tax upper, I already have this tax upper account means the repository and then repo, right? And join next one. And here you see the digest. Now let me just go back to my Docker account, Docker Hub account. So this is my Docker Hub account. If you simply go to the repository and refresh it, you see tax upper slash and join next. So tag support was already there, and Jinx repo has been created. If you click here, you will see the tag. And now, if you want to give a new tag, you can use this command: Docker slash post slash space tag support slash and Jinx colon tag. So this is how you can pull and push the images in the Docker. So guys, that's all about this video. If you like this video, please like, comment, and share. And please don't. Forget to subscribe my channel to get regular updates. I am 
creating and uploading videos on a regular basis. If you want to learn Docker and then Oracle integration, Visual Builder, then this is a great channel for you guys. So please don't forget to subscribe my channel to get regular updates. You can find me on LinkedIn. You can connect me on LinkedIn, Twitter, my Facebook, slash text upper, my page, Facebook page. I, you can see my blogs to https colon slash slash www.taxsupper.com. Guys, thanks for watching the video. Have a good day. Bye-bye.